Hi friends, welcome to Naresha Technologies. Today, let us start the second session on time and distance. Now, in the first previous session in time and distance, we have learned that if distance is constant, speed and time are inversely proportional to each other. Now, let us look into the first question. A man travels at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour and reaches his office from his house 10 minutes late. If he travels at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour, then he reaches 5 minutes early. Find the speed at which he has to travel to reach on time. Now, in this particular problem, we know that distance is constant. He is traveling from his house to office. So, if distance is constant, speed and time are inversely proportional to each other. Now, the speeds at which he is traveling is in the ratio of 30 and 40, which is 3 is to 4. If speeds are in the ratio of 3 is to 4 and when distance is constant, definitely time should be in the ratio of 4 is to 3. And the difference in time here is one part. And let us see what is the difference in time when he travels at 30 kilometers per hour and traveling at 40 kilometers per hour. Traveling at 30 kilometers per hour, he is late by 10 minutes and traveling at 40 kilometers per hour, he is early by 5 minutes. 10 minutes late, 5 minutes early. So, definitely we can see the difference is 15 minutes. So, one part should be equal to 15 minutes. So, four parts will be equal to 60 minutes. Now, what is this 60 minutes? Definitely this 60 minutes is the time taken by him to reach his office traveling at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. Now, traveling at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour, he takes one hour to reach his office. That means the distance from his house to office should be 30 kilometers. But in this particular question, we are not asked to find the distance we are asked to find the speed at which he has to travel to reach on time. Now, we know that speed is equal to distance by time and the distance is 30 kilometers from his house to office. Now, talking about time, how much time should he take to reach his office traveling so that he will reach on time? We know that traveling at 30 kilometers per hour, he took 60 minutes to reach his office and in the question it is given traveling at 30 kilometers per hour, he is late to his office by 10 minutes. Traveling at 30 kilometers per hour, he takes 60 minutes and he is late by 10 minutes. That means to reach his office on time, he should take only 50 minutes. So, he has to travel this 30 kilometers in 50 minutes. So, at what speed should he travel? convert these minutes into hours as distance is in kilometers. So, 50 by 60. So, answer 30 into 60 by 50, 0, 0, 5, 6. 6 into 6, 36 kilometers per hour. So, he has to travel at a speed of 36 kilometers per hour so that he will reach his office on time. Now, let us look into one more problem of the same model. Now, let us look into the second question. A man travels at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour and reaches his office from his house 20 minutes late. If he travels at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour, then he reaches 10 minutes late. Find the speed at which he has to travel to reach on time. Now, it is a similar type of problem, but here in both the cases he is late. Travelling at 40, he is late by 20 minutes. Travelling at 60, he is late by 10 minutes. A little bit of common sense says that my answer should be greater than 60 kilometers per hour. Now, once again, what is constant in this problem? Distance. If distance is constant, speed and time are inversely proportional. Now, the speed ratio 40, 60, which is 2 is to 3. And time ratio, when distance is constant, should be 3 is to 2. Now, difference in time is one part, which should be how many minutes? 
traveling at 40 kilometers per hour he is late by 20 minutes traveling at 60 kilometers per hour he is late by 10 minutes 20 minutes late 10 minutes late that means the difference is only 10 minutes so one part should be equal to 10 minutes three parts should be equal to 30 minutes now what is this 30 minutes this 30 minutes is the time taken by him to reach his office traveling at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour traveling at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour he is taking half an hour to reach his office 30 minutes is nothing but half an hour so speed into time 40 into half so the distance is 20 kilometers the distance from his house to office is 20 kilometers but we need to find at what speed should he travel so that he will reach his office on time so speed speed is nothing but distance by time distance is 20 kilometers and time traveling at 40 kilometers per hour we came to know that he will he will take 30 minutes to reach his office but in the question it is given traveling at 40 kilometers per hour he is late by 20 minutes traveling at 40 kilometers per hour he takes 30 minutes to reach his office but he is late by 20 minutes that means to reach his office on time he should take only 10 minutes so this 20 kilometers should be traveled in 10 minutes so 20 by 10 by 60 converting into us so we get 20 into 6 120 kilometers per hour so traveling at 120 kilometers per hour he will reach his office on time thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to nourish it